I have RQ. Nicely seen. Thank you for that. And thank you for listening. That was a good recall by Kaisa, but obviously what we want to do. Yeah, we'll. I'm gonna go like this. Wow, that is a good flash. Why? It's because if uh, she ults, she can buy time, and if Evelyn is here, we're dead. Oh, actually, I might die here for this. It's really greedy. I'll just need to run. I will not actually stay here. By flash here, though. He's really greedy. I don't know where is Evelyn. It has a rhyme. She Hey guys, besides here and in today's video, we're gonna learn how to macro on AD carry. This video has included recall timings, wave management, mid game rotation, so many AD carry fundamentals. So if you're AD carry below master tier, this video is gonna be amazing for you. If you are above master tier 300 or 400 LP, this might not be for you, but if you're below, this rank this is a beautiful video for you and you should definitely watch it make sure to like subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell comment for the algorithm if you want to make sure you don't miss any video from this channel that is going to help you to get better as an ADKD. go ahead and subscribe right now thank you so much for watching and enjoy mid lane so maybe vein could be good i could also pick ash here but then against strandle it might be tough i mean ash can be good i could greet with a vein i'm gonna greet with a vein even though Ash could probably say, okay, but Ash is better here because, you know, think about it. You play Ash into Senna and way you can always ulti. It's also blind. Ash is better than Vayne. And if you pick Vayne and she picks like Ash Senna or Ezra Senna, Vayne is so useless. True, true. But I have Lissy in jungle and I have Alistar. So if Lissy decides to gank bot lane and we get one kill on Senna, her poke and the amount of, uh, amount of pressure that she can generate is not as much, right? So this is my thought process. I agree a bit the draft. But uh, uh, I think it's fine. And they picked Kaisa. It's not that bad. They didn't pick Ash, which is much better. It was much better. Conditioning over growth. I think I'm just gonna go Kupchukra. Even though some could argue that, oh, but you play safe in the lane. Why do you go Kupchukra? You should go cut down because they have Trundle. I feel like I have my W, so I don't really need damage, if you ask me. I don't really need damage, so it should be fine. I should be okay. So what is the plan here? Well, first of all, I play Vayne against Kai'Sa. So Vayne against Kai'Sa, well, it's not in a vacuum. Vayne, Alistar against Kai'Sa, Senna. So the most important thing in this lane is to farm and to come up even in the lane. But I feel like I can play aggressive against Kai'Sa. I guess she has Halo Blades, which makes it a bit harder for me to win the early game. But at the same time, they have Senna, so it makes it even harder for us to win the early game. She has Fleet Footwork. So I need to go Torrance Shield in this lane. One could argue that I could go Longsword, which I agree. Which I agree. The problem is that if I go... If I go Longsword, it's gonna be... I feel like it's gonna be a bit hard. Why? It's not gonna be hard because you need all in potential. So you go Longsword 3 potions so you can have both healing and then uh, AD. I agree. It's just if Alistar is not a good player... It's, it could be it could be hard because the shield is very OP, it gives you more HP and it gives you lots of healing. So there is that. So there is that. that that's what I mean, right? I feel like it's really underrated, this item. Like really underrated. Okay. Zell versus Jin. Let's try to close some of the tabs here. Caps lock, let's see. We can't leash though. Senna has 73% win rate, Alistar has 53% win rate. That's fine. I have 70% win rate on Vayne. That's good. Okay, so I'll just close Professor because sometimes it's it could be laggy. Could be a bit laggy. Okay. We don't leash, obviously. With Alistar, we don't never leash. I mean, if boss. I like the skin. Nice. Nice skin. It's nice skin. x Alistar. I have XKT1, but no one plays with XKT1. I think Piglet actually make this skin or who? I actually don't know. I don't know. It could be there. Do I go E? Do I go W? Do I go Q? Just needs to put a word here. Dab, he needs to start W. Oh shit. I'm so sorry. Nice flash. He should start W. You should start W and just run away. I oh, not run away, sorry. Just start W and uh, 
push them. I knew they are gonna be there. This is what they should be doing. Oh, these guys are good actually. I should tumble that. Yeah, that's why I don't like longsword three potions. Better. We just need help. A lot of help. Just need to be careful. Kind of obvious. This is good. They actually played it good. Yeah, Senna into Vayne is really, really easy theoretically. Okay, she actually tanks that. Okay. Don't think the Alistar should actually get these minions. She should try to get the minions. Okay, that's another tower shot. That's nice. That's really good. Nice, she's gonna double you here. Oh shit. That's decent. Is he gonna double you here? I'm gonna get closer to the minion so my auto attack can go faster. He should not hit this minion. Four minions behind. Uh what is in actually pet stop? I should have told him that we actually need the Are you an AD carry main struggling to make an impact in your games? Is your damage output disappointingly low, leaving you feeling frustrated and powerless in the role you love? Introducing our specialized coaching program designed to supercharge your AD carry performance. Imagine a world where your damage, decision making and farming skills are 10 times better and the outcome of your games is no longer left to chance. Meet Chase, just like you, he was once stuck in the same position, facing low damage and inconsistency in his games. Let's see what happened after his coaching experience, from Diamond 4 to Master Tier. Wow! And here is Jordan and Brett, both transformed into formidable AD carry after the coaching session. These success stories aren't just isolated cases, they are a part of a community of over 3243 players who benefited from the coaching program. If it worked for them, why not for you? Picture yourself as an unstoppable AD carry. It's not a dream, it's your potential with the coaching session. Don't wait any longer, visit Visite.com, book your coaching and become the AD carry the enemy team hates to play against. We actually need help, I should have told him that we need help and we're gonna get pushed in. The guy could only go in at level 3, if he goes in right now, we can lose. I'll actually go E here. We need to actually play it slow, I think. Kaylee's gonna lose top lane. Buipo played Trundle and now everyone plays Trundle top. I'll just go E. I could go E in here on the, on the Kai'Sa as she's walking out, but she has Halo Blade, so I think I'll just play it slow. Evelyn was bot in the top lane, so now I think she's top, she's bot. Oh, like woke up, but we don't really wanna go in here. I'll just slow push this, but now we're just gonna push this. Just gonna push this, so. Kinda need to get my berserkers, but I feel like if I go also po boots this too, and then, uh, okay, we just stay. Yeah, we just need to stay. Because this is kinda frozen. Just need to push this. Don't know why he doesn't really walk up here. It could just be here with, uh, with the Evelyn. Okay, that is a bad last hit actually by Senna. Because she tanked the minions. Yeah, it's kinda obvious. Are they gonna freeze here though? Okay, they, they can't freeze here. Listen is gonna be bot lane, so maybe we can actually stay around bot lane. Yeah, we're gonna stay here. It's fine. 27 farm against 30 farm. I mean, someone could say, okay, it's really bad. It's minute 5 and I'm already behind. I mean, could be worse. I didn't need to use my Q on that. I need to use my Q on that for sure. Let me actually put the... Hmm. Okay, I need to actually put the music on the other audio part. I don't hear it. Even though it's chill, it can still distract me. I just not used to play with the music for sure. I mean, I am used, but it's just I play a lot worse. This is very bad. I think I wanted to take the, the minion myself, not him. I don't know why you take this, you sweeper that area when wave is coming into you. If they were good, they will just punish you. I just need four minions to freeze. This is good enough. I'll just ghost here. I'm gonna dodge this up. I'm gonna eat like this. Are they gonna flash on me? Good. Yeah, just need to play it safe. Yes, flash here. Can't really do much. Double kill. Like I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't get a kill. 
I knew they're gonna flash on me. They were kind of like the only play they had. Oh, he had three stacks of that. That's really huge. Huge by uh, this guy is 38 farm on the Syndra. But where has 50 farm? Wow, 50 farm in six minutes. That's insane. They all what they do is farm. Literally, they don't hit each other. It's insane. I mean, Syndra with ignite. That's a bit kind of int. Oh, he missed the cannon. That feels good. Syndra with ignite. That is kind of bad, isn't it? I will go refill the potion because this lane is kind of hard. Syndra with ignite. If the enemy knows how to use TP, she will use like she will be like 30 CS ahead <laughs> in like 10 minutes. Because when you play with TP, it's really hard to take a bad trade TP back to the lane. But not only that, oh, not only that, like when both laners recall and one TPs pushes the wave roams, you also get a free roam. Kelly 0-3, but as long as I can be in the game, or Syndra, or we can just buy time. If one can buy time for, for the other, we can win for sure. <clears throat> I don't know why this guy is actually hitting my minions. <clears throat> the same farm with the... Kaisa is quite good. I don't know what sums they have. I need to actually have the Porofessor up to, to have the summoner spells here on the left on the right. It's quite useful, I feel like. It's quite useful. Okay. I'll just play it slow here. I don't know where is the Nice try. Oh he doesn't even ulti. This listen is smart. He didn't even need ulti. Okay, what do I do here? I'll just tank the Kaisa's Q or W. Because they wanna get a cannon. Okay, he actually probably flashed. I guess it would have been better if the Lee Sin just ults him, just to be safe. I think this is kind of bad though. Evelyn could be here. We'll go in, sister, but we don't know where is Evelyn. She has Swiftness Boots. We, I, want, I have two words here, but some could say, yeah, but it against Evelyn. What, what uh, usefulness the words have. I will face check here because it's, uh, it's only Evelyn. I would probably just need to wear the brush. I mean, not the brush, the, the Krag, sorry. Okay. Nice. Okay, they actually pushed the wave. I don't know where is Evelyn. I don't think she's level 6, but Listen is almost level 7. Lee is Listen. Lee. Mm. And obvious here that this is gonna be the case. She's level 6, so I'll just play it safe. Lee, we need help. Ignore top. We can win. And I need help. Trandel will want me to. Hello? What? This guy. How can diamond players be so stupid, bro? Like, if he ganks top, he dies with Lee Sin. I can carry so easy against that guy. We need to stay here, we need to stay here, we need to stay here. Yeah, don't recall. I will need to push this. Kinda don't know if I can push it like once. Okay, even in top lane. Okay, it's one kill for Kale, that's good actually. Any one for one when you're super behind is, is good. Like, why do you need a gank against Randall? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. What? Senna wasn't here? Wait, what? I thought Evelyn or Senna, but Evelyn was top lane. And Senna was in base, I guess. Yeah, he's insane though. I'll just recall. They could freeze, but she also needs a recall. I hope he's gonna tank the W. Is she gonna really? Nice. Asha, good. And now we just kill him. We can have food. Okay, we have 20 seconds or something. Senna could be here. Listen is also coming. I have our Q. Nice, Listen. Thank you for that. And thank you for listening. That was a good recall by Kaisa, but... Obviously, what we want to do... Okay, I will... I'm gonna go like this. Wow, that is a good flash. Why? It's because if uh, she ults, she can buy time, and if Evelyn is here, we're dead. I'll actually... I might die here for this. It's really greedy. I'll just need to run. I will not actually stay here. I flash here, though. It's really greedy. I don't know where is Evelyn. She should be top lane, though. 
She should be top lane theoretically. Not gonna stay at all here. Yeah, I mean, I saw that she's gonna actually let the wave to come into her and recall. So what I do, I fake recall. I go into the lane. I push. The, I stay into the brush, or I just stay the lane. I just push the lane. You have two options. It's either you let her recall, you push the wave, you recall yourself, or you just literally stay in the brush and you have 30 seconds that you can kill Senna. And after you kill Senna, of course, Kaisa can't stay 1v2 when she returns to the lane. That's quite smart. You can't read too much for that. So challenger players, they always do that. Look at that master players, they do that. Master players, eh. Mm -hmm. Maybe high master players. I didn't see that in like 200, 300 LP. Okay. Trundle plays top. Interesting. I wouldn't gank top. Personally, as I said. Okay. I'll tumble and I'll auto attack so I can reset my tumble. He doesn't really have ulti here with Lee Song. So staying here would be very bad. I don't know why Alistar ganks 1 6 top lane. When Trandal can literally 1v2. And also, if I was a bad player, I don't know how this works. This is such. This is why this Alistar is Diamond 4 or Diamond 3. And he's not gonna be like he he's not diamond one or masters. Just because he's taking coin flips. Like this game it works, but next game is not gonna work. Why are you getting top lane like that and leave your your vein that is like 2-0 alone? I could have just died bot lane if I was just, you know, not paying attention. I mean it's kinda hard because this guy's a Senna. I will like hover for a second here. Maybe not for a second, for a more than one second. Maybe I should hit it once because I want to get a bloodline stack, but what I like it. I guess not really. I just want to push this as fast as possible. I just push this, I go into the brush, I press B. This wave should crush. She has first item. Is she really gonna freeze again though? Okay, so bad. He should just push. He can get a lot of plates by me recalling. The reason why he should not freeze here is because if he freezes at this point in time in 13 minutes when he knows that he, he he has enough power to push very easy, like super fast, he can clear out this wave and get plates. When you know you can get a lot of plates after you get like no quiver boots or even like storm razor, you can always consider like, hey, I'm not going to freeze. I'm going to push intentionally because I know that by, by freezing, I, I make her lose yes, but by pushing, I make her lose yes as vain, but also I get plates, you know. The evening could be here, so just uh, gonna be gonna be a bit hard. Just need to tumble this. Always tumble diagonally. I tumble like this. Never like I tumble like this. A little bit diagonally, no? Because if I tumble, if I tumble like this, it's bad. Tumble straight. The minutes. I will not freeze. You can't freeze with static shift. Ah, uh, I'm gonna argue that I don't know where is Evelyn though. Okay, interesting that they're actually wasting their words for this. If Evelyn comes, she's 1-2. I'm pretty sure we can win this. The recalls of Kai's are like really weird. Why is she recalling right now when she's gonna lose minions? And this guy is actually gonna freeze again. Oh no, I'm sorry. Okay, I got exhausted. Kai's was exactly here, bro. It's Kai'Sa. The Evelyn is in lane and she's recalling. Such a cringe spot. Wait, he didn't do ulti though. My bad. I should not play aggressive. I should not play aggressive. It's fine. I mean, all what we have to do is survive. Because Kale is gonna... Kale, if we actually buy like 25, 30 minutes, Kale is gonna carry by default. Even though she's behind. So I feel like all what we have to do is like play safe. Okay, this listen is actually quite good. They are gonna get the tower bot lane, which one could argue is bad, but it's actually good. Ooh, this reason is crazy good. Okay. Okay, he wanted to get the cannon for sure here. Syndra is gonna be there as well. I'll just use both potions here. Oh, guys, I did not die. I think she is. She's actually, she was 0-2. Now oh, she's getting a lead. It's not good. Ah, sorry. That was a bit faster. Okay. The evil is, was actually quite strong there. Such a broken champion, but why am I not respecting her though? I think I should always respect her. Can we get it? I think we have time. They should have 15 seconds to go to bot. Maybe they're gonna TP. 
I should actually stay on this angle to Q. Okay, just worth it actually. We can stay into the brush here. Yeah. Have R, he's gonna. Oh! Okay, I got a bit lucky though, I actually killed her. So now good ulti. This guy's good my poorness. She didn't flash. This Alistar is so bad. He has face rush and he can't use his E on the target like that. Actually, no, he's not bad. I don't know. Maybe he didn't play it good at this point. Oh, do I push your ah, eyes really bad? Because Evelyn could actually be around me. I need to buy controllers. We need to buy more controllers. She could just come like this and have condemned. I think I should be fine. Listen his kick. He has kick. Kikovic. Kinda wanna get this item and then sell this and then get this. I feel like Shin is good, but at the same time, not getting Ruby Crystal is a bit suicidal. I'm still ahead this farm and everything, so it should be fine. We got this. We got this. I'll just stumble and go faster. Evelyn could be there. I think I should be fine. She's too confident. Evelyn is definitely here, isn't she? Okay. Yeah. Now they TP'd. We lose this really hard. That's why you don't take Ignite on Tindra Sister. Okay. Trundle is 7-4. He's level 12. He's two levels up. Could be worse. The Kale is gonna win against Wei, I think. Or maybe not now. Maybe not yet. Should be fine. I mean, Vayne against Randall is really easy. All what he should do is split pushing. I don't know if Evelyn is gonna be here or not. It's potentially could be. Okay. There's no way she's gonna be here, right? What the heck? Why is Alistar top though? I can kill this guy. Oh my god. It's fine. We wanna kill Wei. If we get Kale ahead, it's also fine. Yeah, I can go. I don't wanna go top. I don't wanna stay bot, but I have to. Let's see how he plays. He should W, wait a bit, and then Q. W? Ah, he doesn't know how to play Alistar. I keep pushing one more. I mean, it's a bit greedy, but I think this guy is gonna get this item. On uh, Evelyn, and I'm not that squishy. I have a bit of life still as well. Kai says mid. Yeah. Holy shit. Definitely gonna escape, sister. Evelyn is gonna be bot. Please play bot. We can win. I keep the game alive and Kale can carry after. <clears throat> I need to keep the game alive and then Kale can carry after. We just need to like survive. He ghosted I think as well, but I don't know. He's actually fighting vain. I think even without ghost I can win really easy. But good ghost is like literally not counter play. He warded there. So it's Okay, I kind of want to get the little minions here at least. Not all of the wave. She wants to get the cannon, she can. Okay, well, thank you for everything then. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Don't know where is Evelyn though. This is worth it though. We need vision though. This Evelyn is gonna one shot me. Pretty sure she has items. I can't face like that. I really don't want to stay there though. Ah, bro, but it's very uncomfortable for me. I need to stay with Syndra now. The Evelyn could be there, though. I hope they're gonna die there. Nice. Is he really? Mamma mia. Guys, where are you? I didn't have vision, maybe if I use blue trinket faster. He should be there. He's there. Nice, so... I'll keep pushing one more. I see Senna top lane, everyone was dead, so... 
You can push it to be quite stupid to actually recall here. He's not a bounty. Nice, so. Perfect, I'm level 12, Trundle is 13 as well. He almost killed me there. That's a good try by him. I think instead of getting like Borg, which can be decent against Trundle, I think I can kill him anyways. I will just get the shield bow and then Borg after maybe, or if maybe even BD. Wait, I didn't try the, the Storm Razor build. I feel like it would have been good because we already have a lot of wave clear with like Kale and uh, Syndra. Yeah, Kale is already like on V9ing right now, level 13. She will split. Let Kale split. She will on V9. Don't die mid. Yeah. I think she should go bot lane. Bot, 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 bot is better, Kale. Bot is better. I don't know what we are doing actually here. Okay, I see Kale. Nice. Trust the coach, trust the coach, trust the coach. This ping is the best ping in the world. I'll actually kite back like this so I can get a bit more healing maybe from Kale if she trouble is me or Alistar Radiant Virtue. Because I think I missed it, most of the healing and his range is like this. Just wanted to be inside of the range. Don't think Kale can ever do anything here. Interesting that he plays this Trundle. I really don't want to say he's bad, but playing full split push as Trundle and you don't have Hullbreaker second. I don't know, man, but that's kind of grief. I don't know, maybe he's thinking he needs to 1v1 the Kale. I don't know, but you can 1v1 the Kale with Hullbreaker. I don't know. They're really weird. His name is Blitzcrank, so yeah, maybe he's just playing like autofill. I don't know. Maybe he's autofill. But this. Maybe. I don't know. We have Kale ulti here. I don't know why Kale is not actually split pushing bot, but okay. Our top actually here. Okay, I need to be careful here. Why is Kale with us though? You have TP. You have TP and you're staying with us. That's a bit grief, in my opinion. Don't think the, the Evelyn can take this ever. Kale, oh, wait a second. <coughs> Kale. Kale bot, maybe? I mean, should be top lane right now too, but... I feel like it was better to just wait her to split push. Honestly. Okay, we just need to... Just need to wait Kale push here, we don't need to fight. We do not need to fight here. Kale has to split push. Let Kale bot. We play safe mid. FTP. Kale God. I love playing with Kale, honestly. He's like such a broken champ, even though this guy griffed. But early game Kale is really hard to play. What can you do? We understand. We understood. I can win this. Okay, even need stop. Okay. I don't think. Uh... Okay. That's good. I don't know why the last games it didn't appear that I can actually get the, the red buff. Okay. Even could be here, but I have shield buff very soon. 500 gold. It's fine. The guy is not gonna lose the split push, in my opinion. If he's like gonna get one more item or something. Okay. Is he gonna go on this guy though? Now start though. Okay. okay, I played this so bad. I don't know why I'm not uh, ghosting. Could have just ghosted a longer time ago. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's how it's gone now. Nice. we can end here we just back off here we just need to group with the trundle probably is the senna gonna ulti here though she could she could is she gonna do it though i wouldn't do it like vein has to tumble 
and has a tumble. I think Kale should actually go top and we go both to Trundle. It's five, four people against Trundle, it's always gonna win. I don't think Kale should split against Trundle. I think that we should go as five against Trundle and we just easy peasy. Because Kale has a chance to lose the fight and then we have to all recall. But if we go, if Trundle goes top, we go all four people top and Kale split pushes bot. I feel like Kale against four people and Trundle against us is just much better, I feel like. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it's solo queue, so I can't always shot call. It's fine. I'll get PD. I think PD is good. I need to try the Storm Razor build. I need to try more builds. Kind of like default to the same build. Like now I'm like trying to play better mechanically for now and like have a clean macro they have the inhibitor if the trundle is top that's quite bad for them for enemies okay never mind i need to go i need to go yeah it's really bad but we have like 15 seconds okay, i'll just ghost here ah maybe i shouldn't ghost because kai says mid Okay. That was paper for me. That was really paper. My ulti actually lasts for so long. Oh. Is it a stopwatch or something? Okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait till scale is pushing. Have nothing, bro. Not for now. Nice dodge. Kale is 1v9ing there. I'm gonna stay close to the... Nice. Nice so. Nice so, nice so, nice so. That's really good. Like this urge to fight though. It's really important to like not be... Okay, I'll just take this tower. Is it gonna pillar me here? I have chill buff, so I won't really. Holy shit, Kale though. Kale is very balanced. We can do this. I mean, we could have. But we still can. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Fuck you with your Senna, bro. Uh, wait, Kale he didn't have ulti, but it's fine. We have three inhibitors, we get Drake. It's fine. <clears throat> I also have PD. Kinda wanna get the tank elixir, but I feel like I'm I'm so strong anyways. Tanky elixir is fine, but I feel like I'm so tanky. I don't think Evelyn can one-shot me. <clears throat> Evelyn is still dead. I have flash next fight and I also have ghost, so. Oh. Nice ulti from her. Just need to play for Nash. Just need some vision for Nash though. I think Alistar should also be there. But they are doing it quite fast because they have Kaisa and Randall. But we have Lee Song. I don't think they can do this realistically speaking. They will just disengage. Wow, good job. Really good. This listen is so good actually. We're also getting the towers. It's good. I need to hit one minion here. Go, 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 go. Okay. He actually does damage though. I thought he has no chance, but he has damage. GG, guys. GG, guys. Kale. If you would know how to play this champ, you will be more than D3. <laughs> Flash shot attack! This game is really bad actually. <laughs> like really bad. Pressure she's auto fill or something. <clears throat> Twenty nine LP. I actually lose a lot of MMR. Yeah, 
și Diamond Tree. Ai, ai New și Diamond Tree. <laughs> ai New și Diamond Tree. Alice are playing good also, like uh, Lee Sin played really well. I think. Lee Sin played like really well. Thank you for honor, guys. Let's go next now. I need to go to the bath. Okay, I'll go to the bath. I'm pretty sure I'll miss the queue, but I have to. Kind of have to. Five dollars! If you have problems improving and getting better in the game faster but you cannot afford booking coaching on my Patreon, you can access more than 627 VOD reviews, premium videos about how to wave management, mid game macro, and tire lists that will show you the best champions to climb and to improve for your ELO. And these are not on YouTube, this is only on Patreon, they're exclusive. Moreover, you can participate in the free coaching waiting list to get a premium VOD review. I'm giving away two free VOD reviews every single week. All what you need to do is simply two-step process subscribe to my patreon and share your opgg and voila you are on the waiting list you're gonna get a personalized vote review for any game in your match history for just five dollars you get not only the free vote review but a whole bunch of exclusive benefits that will supercharge your gaming experience it's a small investment for a big return and it's just five dollars it's no brain right but here is the deal you've got to act quickly the waiting list is already filling up fast 55 people already subscribed to the patreon and there are six people that they are already are on board they are on the waiting list and more are joining every moment now do you want to secure your spot for a free vote go ahead on my patreon and reserve it right now